Hello, I am Dan Steinberg. I am going to show how to run a practice on teaching man-to-man -man defense for one hour to an hour and a half for purpose of teaching that the game basketball and man-to-man -man defense properly. If you have an hour, you should spend at least the first 10 to 15 minutes of just warming up. That's doing stretches, layups, drills, as well as other items over time. And then once you get into your man-to-man -man defense, you need to show them how to properly move their feet. At this time, I will be showing you with my two sons that are in, at this time at a very young age, Ryan and Andrew Steinberg, who are here, and they will be showing. Andrew is wearing the green shirt, while Ryan is wearing a shirt that says Super Moose on it in blue. I understand that many of you do not get a full core to practice with, and if you do, you can use these you can use these drills with using a full court. But in the meantime, you have to use what you are given with. So what we are going to show, we are going to show the slide to slide drill where kids would face either the curtain or the wall. So if my so if my kids could, could stand on the sideline, please. And we will start by showing how to slide properly. What they are doing right now, both boys is they are going to practice their their footwork technique by going towards the wall and towards the curtain behind me. So right now they're facing the curtain and then they will be facing the wall. Go ahead, Andrew and Ryan, go. You see, two and turn. Two and turn. Two and turn. Don't cross your feet is the main purpose of the drill. It's just to get their feet warmed up and just sliding properly. Uh, this is our side-to-side -side drill where each boy will be demonstrating how to slide diagonally while the other person's dribbling. It's a good dribbling drill to look up and more importantly work on the footwork especially knowing the sixth man is a sideline. Go ahead. What we are using for cones is chairs because they're about the same size as a man. And notice that we are using about a half a quart to demonstrate. Now, right there, look at Andrew's foot, which he is stepping on the sideline. If the person dribbling would, go, could, would have to go out of bounds or he would have to run into him, which Andrew has already established position. And now they're ready to go to the next chair. And then down to the corner to where they would switch. Now depending on how often you have to do this, your goal is to keep every kid constant. You should be doing these drills for about seven minutes at a time to make sure that they get through to each kid. Most important thing with this drill is to make sure that each kid is sliding, making sure that footwork is good. Now, Andrew right there stepped out of bounds, but that's fine. But notice how Ryan's foot is in bounds. Okay, go ahead to the next chair. And you'll notice how Andrew's in control. He's always looking up at Ryan's eyes at this time. And Ryan's footwork is very good. The next drill is considered a full court sliding drill. It should be considered for your warm ups. This way every kid's learning how to slide properly along with having their arms out as long as knowing what to expect here um, in a game. It's a good warm up drill. Each kid right now is getting their feet warmed up and we're gonna yell go, go. He will go down to the free throw line and slide across all the way over to the half line to run and then keep going. The purpose of this is for them to slide their feet, have their hands up, and they keep moving. You'll see, notice how they're not crossing their feet, which is really key to any drill. They're always facing the wall, except for the last time where they'll do a sprint. Now they will do hands up backwards, as they keep going to do it a second time 
through. This drill can take up to two and a half minutes, and after this, I'd recommend to all teams to get some water for their players are just understanding. Notice their feet are, are, very, are done very well. That's really key. They're not crossing their feet, they're just moving. And this is good for any player right here to play def how they learn how to play defense. Don't cross your feet, and away they go. And then they turn around and do the sprint, and it's time to get some water after that. Okay, this is a drill I call SIU, where the purpose of this drill is for the kids to pass the ball to me, again, learn a little intense, have their hands up and their body in front of the ball, then I'm going to send them down for a full court sprint to make a layup and also on the other basket to make sure that they're wind. We want to keep this going for every single kid for about seven to eight minutes for the purpose of the drill is for them to understand how to play intense man-to-man -man defense as well as how to, how to react when the ball comes up. So Ryan here will first pass me the ball. He's going to come up with his hands up. You see his feet's always constantly moving. Ball goes to the, my left, his right. He has his hand up as we see. The other right. I'm going to send Ryan down. Andrew's going to do the same thing. So Andrew, I'm going to start down here. He has to spread his legs a little bit more. Right, up, and then there he goes. He's off to hopefully make a layup. Try not to pass the ball at a great distance. And now what he's also going to do is use our other basket. Try to utilize all the parts of the gym to make sure that you have a good wind. Thank you. The purpose of man-to-man -man defense at the end is to show, is show two players, an individual group, you know, show him how to guard between the man and the basket. So Andrew will go ahead and dribble, and notice how Ryan is just trying to guard him between the man and the basket. Ryan's giving him a few feet. He's not trying to steal the ball at this age because usually so many times you'll get more of an aggressiveness for a turnover. Now, also, during this time, Andrew needs to go out a little bit further with the basket. He knows that Ryan's main purpose is to stay between the man and the basket. So, here's the other thing that Andrew's going to do. Now that pass it to me. And Ryan's still going to guard Andrew, but make sure that the purpose of the player, no matter where he is, is staying between the man and the basket. As well as he's keep moving his feet. He's not, he's only, he's not trying to learn how to shuffle his feet very well. And very good. So we want to make sure that that stays, that stays, keep constantly for Ryan to keep, to keep moving his feet. So Andrew's still trying to get open. And Ryan's starting very well between the man and the basket. So with that, I'm like, that's the way you should, besides the scrimmage, is the way you should always make sure to teach man-to-man -man defense for everyone. Thank you very much.